The opening day of uh, Needham Public Schools is on the horizon, and before the schools open, we sat down to speak with Superintendent of Needham Public Schools, Dr. Daniel Gutekanst, about what parents can expect when school begins in September. It has been a very busy spring and summer with hiring. Fortunately, because the community was so incredibly supportive in passing an override, we were able to hire approximately 25 new positions to supplement what's going on in our classrooms and to help, in some cases, bring class size down. And through the, the, the generous support of the, the citizens of Needham, the, the incredible leadership of the school committee in, in, in collaboration with the finance committee, selectmen, uh, town meeting, uh, we are able to now extend our school day and provide additional learning opportunities for our students in grades K through 8. Uh, specifically in grades K through 5 we will be adding additional programming. Spanish will begin in grade 1. Uh, we are starting some uh, really innovative science, technology, engineering, arts, mathematics, also called STEAM program in grades uh, 1 through 3. We will be adding um, and reorganizing our uh, library program, our arts program and music programs, expanding wellness in grades K through five. So all told, our students in the elementary level will have more time on learning, about 25 minutes, and some new and exciting programming that we really believe is, is going to propel them into the middle school um, and beyond. We are launching um, and implementing a one-to-one -one personalized learning initiative beginning in the middle school this year. And then, of course, that begins at High Rock and will continue into Pollard next year and into the eighth grade as well. Um, what, the, what, the, what the school committee realized and what our educators and teachers have been thinking a lot about is that the middle school seems to be a wonderful entry point for students to think about how we can personalize their learning, how we can help them be organized for success, and also how we can really think about using technology and technology tools to provide for mobile learning experiences, hands-on learning experiences, and, and use the iPad in this case with the, the apps that are available to really enrich literacy and math instruction, science instruction organization for our students and making sure that they are beginning their middle school experience which is very, very different than the elementary experience um, in, in a way that will really support their learning. There's so much going on with teaching and learning in the Needham schools. I would encourage parents first of all to look at our website. Uh, there is lots of timely information on there. We also have a uh, regular cable show called Needham School Spotlight. I try to produce one show a month during the school year. I would encourage folks to check that out. Those uh, are available online through the Needham channel or they're also available to look at on the uh, Needham School's website. I have a, a Twitter account. I tweet uh, as often as I can at um, NPS Soup, S-U-P-T, so you can check me out there. Uh, in addition, I, I do try to update my blog at least once a month, which is also available on the district's website. The school committee has opportunities for open houses during the year where parents can meet informally with the school committee. The school committee is also very much um, uh, committed to uh, having the public come to their meetings twice a month throughout the school year to engage them in conversation. So I, I think there, there are a lot of ways folks can uh, stay in touch with us and very soon within the next week or so uh, we will be uh, distributing the uh, next edition of the 2014 Needham Schools Performance Report. So we're very pleased about that and, and look forward to folks getting that in September and October.